So we've seen, well, what am I doing? I'm just, I'm just jumping right into commentary. <laughs> Before we even get into it. I was so it. excited to talk about it. Let me do, <clears throat> let me do my intro, my, fa- my fanciest <laughs> Dion impression. Let's see if I can remember my name this time. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Gold Squadron Podcast here at the Lone Star Open in Allen, Texas. I am William Hegwood, uh, joined with me is Chase Fair. Uh, we're we're holding down the fort uh, for Dion as he is uh, at his master's graduation today. Uh, we this is I think round four. Let me change that real yes. fast. Uh, always something, isn't it? We're in round four <laughs> uh, of five here. Um, In this second uh, day of Swiss, top 16 competitors from the day are going to move on to a top 32 uh, tomorrow. Uh, These guys are battling it out uh, for that uh, qualifying spot. Uh, We have Lauren Ford flying the Galactic Republic and Alan uh, Ty. Ty. I think it's just Ty. Uh, on the other side, flying uh, Zam and Django B- Separatist Bounty Hunters. Uh, so I got that Choose Your Champion betting going. I'm going to reset it here, close bet in, open it back up. I might close back again. <laughs> uh, but if you're watching on YouTube, give us a comment down below now while you're watching. Give us a guess. Who do you think is going to pull this off? What do you think it's going to take for uh, either a person to pull off the victory uh, in this uh, classic era matchup of Separatists versus the Grand Republic? Um, While you guys are putting in some bets, Chase, how about you start uh, breaking down some lists here? What does uh, Alan got flying here? Alan is the... Scum player flying the double fire spray, Zam, Wessel, and Django Fetz. Zam is loaded out with Count Dooku, thermal detonators, false transponder codes, and a full upgrade. Kind of making a couple trades from the typical upgrades we see, losing treacherous, gaining some of these bigger ones like full upgrade and Dooku. Uh, Django is running seasoned navigator thermal detonators false transponder codes and hole upgrade again losing a little bit of his bid and the treacherous to gain the bigger upgrade seasoned navigator which allows you to after you reveal your dial you may set you know, sorry i need to read this a little closer <laughs> you may set your dial to another non-red maneuver of the same speed while you execute that maneuver, increase its difficulty. So it gives you a chance to kind of change how you're going to do things. A pseudo slave one uh, from Scum Side um, to reset your dial a little differently. Um, mm-hmm. the, ma- the main thing is there that you do set your dial, yep. which will change it for Django's ability. Yep. Uh, even though it increases the difficulty, the color of the maneuver will stay the same. Yes. Um, and on the Republic side, Lauren Ford is flying two Jedi Knights with the Delta 7B cons- configuration, a Squad 7 veteran in the Arc 170, and Warthog in the Black Gunship. Mm-hmm. Uh, no upgrades other than the Delta 7Bs on the Jedi Knights. Oh, sorry. Hole upgrade. Can't forget the hole upgrade oh, on good. Warthog. Oh, my. We have... We got dice rolling. Oh, wow. Dice are coming good. in quick. 
think this is uh, the arc one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is the ARC-170, it looks like, onto ZAM. Yep, a little bit. A little bit of uh, swing fresh uh, <clears throat> dice box. Uh, Duke pressure. Wing and Evade. Ooh, and he needed it, too. Takes All right, one. early damage. One shield going right, into we're, ZAM. We're closing that betting. I'll, a snipe attack there. Yeah, it's always those range three you don't expect. Wow, okay. Well, that'll, that'll kick the dust off of your fire spur, that's yeah. for sure. I think that's a Texas term. I'm trying to bust out all my Texas things. <laughs> I think it's knock the dust off your boots. I'm not really sure. Uh, we are... Oh, I already closed betting, so... Yep. There you go. Woo! Okay. Yeah, players getting into it quick. Um, not quite doing a joust, but... That's definitely, I think, what Lauren was going for here. To try to get some heavy hits on as soon as possible. Betting was never an option. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, it went for eight minutes, so what can you do? All right. Yeah, I, I like I like what Lauren's doing here, leading I with agree. the arc. If, if stray shots are going to come in, it's got the extra health mm -hmm. to just absorb that. No big deal. Wants to keep the uh, seven Bs for uh, later on in the game. Uh, Alan, though, uh, needs to utilize the rear arcs and bombs. Those are the best features of yep. the fire sprays, uh, the, the rear arc boosts. Yeah, and really, I think he could try to just start running here now that she's turning in and use those rear arcs, like you said, and um, mm -hmm. throw down some bombs just in the path of the Republic. Um, I noticed that Lauren has the seven S Squad 7 Veteran Arc 170 instead of another 7B. I wonder if that's because of the full upgrade on Warthog. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm Warthog, Warthog does fit. Uh, yeah, whole upgrade is three points on Warthog. I thought Warthog fit with three Jedi Knights, no? I don't think so. Oh, it has to be a generic, that's right. Yeah. It used to fit, but then Warthog yes. went up a little bit. So Warthog, in order to have Warthog, you cannot have the third 7B. So Lauren opting to take another bigger three-dice gun uh, in there the Arc 170. Yeah, uh, Smikey's uh, pointing out that, yeah, uh, all of the other mm -hmm. uh, lats would fit, yep. but not Warthog. Probably for good reason. Yes, that would be very strong to have a re-roll in force mm -hmm. um, with some big three dice guns. Yeah, see, I'm interested in... Ooh, look at this uh, little crisscross here. Okay. Yeah, a one hard or two hard from both of them. Ooh, all right, you're going to get a... You're going to get a lesson on railroad tracking if you've yeah. been watching too much Tabletop Simulator and not enough live X-Wing, which literally everybody has this is how you train track so you put the uh template on there line up the front and back on the train track I wonder if that's a uh, does does it mono make it jump jump <laughs> that's a, that's a deep cut just don't <laughs> don't worry about it I'm curious if that was a intended bump from Alan here to keep himself less committal. Because had he actually made that full turn, his arts would have been I think he right? I think he would have boosted back around okay. to get both rear arcs facing yeah. uh, the enemy. Yep. Or at least to have them hesitate so that he has the option to go into the corner. Mm -hmm. Remember that season navigator. Alright, this is Zam. I think, uh... Evade, no issue. Yeah. Wow. Arc doing work. <laughs> we are doing live events. <laughs> this weekend we are. Texas, really, though. It, it's Texas. So that was Django firing range three. So now this is going to be Zam. 
Who should have a third charge? Um, I don't know where he's putting the conditions. Oh, I see it here, bottom right corner. Yeah. So that's like just force expenditure. Force. Uh, yes, Zam is down a shield from that one snipe. Oh yeah, we were so excited about it. I never actually did I know, it. And we didn't, we didn't change it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, there, you though. Uh, Thanks, Bobby. The real fun, Bobby. Uh, he has a focus for defense, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So just going to spin the focus there and take one shield on the arc. Minor plinking currently, but... Out of range for the lat reel. So right. And another shield onto Zam. Ooh, we'll see what that condition card is. Mm, no condition card? Range 3 from blue. Didn't, yeah, didn't see the condition card, so... Spends the force for another 3. Nice. Wow! Zam just getting beat up today. Yeah, taking a damage card. Wow, that's six. Uh, that so fast, he wasn't even have his damage deck ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, well, he did pack up everything yeah. and then come back over here. So I don't don't put that on no, him. No. But uh, it was yeah, definitely a uh, last minute. But yeah, twice <laughs> now, triple blanked on range three yeah. attacks for Zam. Wow. But Zam cocking her. Ability here, I believe. Can't tell which one it is. I mean, they both look the same, right? Yeah. They both say blah 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 charges, blah blah blah, <laughs> blah 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 <laughs> bonus attack. Okay, so there is a judge nearby, so um, yeah. can shoot, uh, would have had the option to shoot at the arc. Zam's probably back down to two charges there because would have gained, or sorry, don't back up to one charge. Assuming that they got a charge, mm. the the first round, yeah, when he didn't go towards the ship. Assuming he put down a condition card in the first round, so. Um, I believe so, Isofane. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but they are both from Birmingham Barons. All right, the excitement there is an obstacle mood, which is, it happens. What could you do? Yep. That's one of the... Uh... Yeah. Oh. I moved I, the I, 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 so... It might, was it cornered? Yeah, I was going to say, if it was cornered, you could probably tell where it was. Yeah. Realistically... It's kind of out of where the fighting is, so it might not have that much of an impact at the moment. Um, depends on if they decide to fly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she already flew past it, yeah. so not a big deal. Uh, so that is now wow. one away from half on Zam. Um, taking uh, one more hit would be big this early Steven on. Ford. That's who I was like. I was like, I... <laughs> I know that there's a Baron. Or no, because that's what it was. We looked, I about put Steven Ford on stream. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Steven Ford is playing Chris Schulte because we looked at his list and everything. Yep. Yeah, so uh, I have to assume uh, she's got these beautiful uh, uh, Republic earrings. Um, got the Baron Moonham Baron should represent here. Yep. So I can only assume. I mean, I don't, I don't want to make a... <laughs> a sexist count about two yes. people having this uh, the same name required yeah. to be married. Yeah, but yeah, that's why I don't know, but I think I don't. I'm not sure. It's a strong guess. It is. Well, <laughs> both well, the next week events, both here doing really well. Yeah. So. No big deal here. 
Um, I mean, all that damage on Zam, not a big deal. No. It's, uh... Um... Okay, con con confirmation coming in. Yep. Okay, well, that's good, that's good. We don't have to uh, beat around the bush with our assumptions <laughs> or anything, so... Uh, fantastic to Thermal see uh, that... Uh, um, what do I want to say? Uh, two people uh, who are married able to uh, find a kind of uh, activity both can enjoy. Yep. Um, and then, uh, knowing the barons, they have a very uh, specific and like analytical view of X-Wing. Mm -hmm. um, and that information uh, could certainly help any player. Oh, look at this thermal bomb wow. dropper. That's what's up. This is fancy. Well, uh, Alan's probably dropped a lot of thermal detonators. I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren kind of explaining her reasoning behind some of these maneuvers. All right. Well, that arc is going to be landing right on those detonators. Yeah, whatever. Brought the health for the reason, right? <laughs> Mainly because Joel is a cyborg and can process board states in his mind. <laughs> now they have a lot of top talent. It's yeah. why uh, at the inaugural, uh, we should have never called it the inaugural Goldies, uh, but we did give them best new podcast because their analysis of the game was mm -hmm. um, uh, so informative. Yeah, and I, I think it also testifies to playing against people who are really good also makes you really yeah. good. I 100% um, kind of agree. That. You don't want to be playing against people that are worse than you. You want to be playing against people that are better than you. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. if you lose. <laughs> First time call. We are trying not to interrupt the players as much as possible. Yeah. It's, it's uh, frowned upon in the streaming uh, and tournament scene. To just bother them constantly. We're, we're trying to be observers and um, spectators, if you will. So you see some boost focus here, able to uh, go around the lane of the uh, thermal detonators. We saw Warthog finally rotate that arc. I was so nervous about jousting with the arc sideways. Yep. I would have expected. Maybe like a missile or something. Like I've seen tracer missiles. Yeah. Uh, on Warthog to try to get that front arc. Which is always an idea, but Ooh, this is going to be close. Isn't that wiggle room? Nah, you had to lift. You had to lift it, it up to get it onto there. Not enough wiggle. <laughs> How's it going? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, rolls the strain. I didn't, ah, didn't catch the dice box in time. Oh, he moved the movement template away. What he used to mark uh, Jingo. No worries. Oh, I'll, I'll shout at him. I'll that. shout at him. There you go. There you go. A little bit more accurate there. Yep. Both players laughing, having a good time. Yeah, Very I mean, hard. mistakes happen. It's yeah. okay. That's part of in-person X-Wing. Trust me. The reason I know how to fix <laughs> yeah, these mistakes. Done it in the yep. <laughs> I've done it often. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Let's 
head trombone. <laughs> the negotiations were short. Yes, they were. <laughs> So they're checking the rear bomb here. Yep. Looks like it did have Warthog. Smike is commenting about not taking the lock to jam off the focus. Ooh. Or, uh, yeah, from the arc. Um, may want to use it in more of a defensive manner, but I guess, I mean, I guess this would be a good time to do it. Uh, that is one shield on yeah, ro the Jedi. She's rolling them both because they, they all have shields, so crits or hits wouldn't matter there. If you do not have shields, you do need to roll the thermals. Is that one shield down on it? was pink because that was what she pointed okay. at first. I'm going to assume. Um, I don't think the la or the warthog, the arc 170 took anything from the bomb because he saw us two shields here. Unless I'm, unless oh that's that's the 7B. I'm sorry, it's not lined up. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is okay. yeah because he's got a yeah. force charge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> First I couldn't say the name, then I'm not getting the right ship anyways. So, uh, judge call. Just double checking the effects of thermal detonators with the judge, just to make sure everything's correct. Mm, <laughs> uh, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> only, only shame yourself though, first time caller. Yep. I'm watching you. All right, uh, Django with the. Focus, and that's gonna um, put a damage card on the yes. Seventh Fleet yeah. Gunner, or Seventh Fleet Gunner. Oh my gosh, that's a upgrade. Squad Seven veteran. <laughs> it's not. It's There's so squad, many weird names. Squad Seven veteran just does not roll off the tongue. No. Squad Seven veteran. Yeah. SSB. <laughs> unfortunate yeah Blank zam Not zam is just having i wish i had just zam's dice stats for I know, this game so many blanks from zam this game hopefully she survives long enough to kind of turn those around range three from the arc into zam <laughs> hit hit crit Ooh, going into zam doing the invade oh my strain God. Strain. Sorry, I guess if I yelled. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Gets his evade from Dooku. Yeah. Yep. So either way, effects were the same. Okay. All, all the same. All yeah. the same. Takes uh, oh. hit crit into Zam. Which will be half on Zam. Blue stabilizer. stabilizer. Thank you. They didn't see my thumbs up, but I gave it to them. And it was hit Yikes. crit, so she's down two hole now. Yeah, because there was one damage card last round, yep. right? That was seven. And that is half on Zam. Ooh, we got another, we got another shot of the 7B as well. So two hits. I, I like how Lauren... Two evades, uh, yes, Sam. I like how Lauren is animate about checking more like, yep. every time. Even if it seems crazy to do it, just... Well, it gives you more information to work with when it's mm -hmm. information you're supposed to have. Gas cloud evade. Preventing any more damage. Um, I'll, I'll wait for the Zam card yeah. to see. Alright, I'm gonna yell it. 
the sacred game stack. I will jump in with the judges. Uh, that's the normal procedure, but I wanted to catch it before they started doing planing phases, if it was a yep. bonus attack or something crazy yep. like that. Um, Always um, make sure the must and uh, board states that have to be maintained are maintained. Uh, yeah. Dice I mean, that's not like, that's not, in, I feel like that's not interference. Yeah, no, I, I agree. If it's like correcting, is like, that's, that's how I view it, is correcting, yep. not helping yes yes but you see my non-bias though too of yeah. that i will tell you if you roll too many dice yep. but i also yep. will tell you hey you missed a must trigger he ended up not taking anything for it no he took a lock he oh, took he the lock on oh, the arc i didn't see that go through bonus attack in planning phase what no 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 <laughs> i i had to correct their zam card so SSV might die depending on bombs. That is true. Um, yeah, there's a lot of bombs coming. Drop two more thermal bits. Um, okay. All right. These these guys are. Uh, what do I want to say? <laughs> having a good time. Yes. They are. A good time. They are. Uh, um. What do I want to say? Feeling that yes. round four stretch. Yep. You know what I mean. It's definitely. Your brain is kind of a little numb to all the things going on at this point. Yeah. Um, I mean, you get so focused on the game and, like, I, it happens to me all the time. Oh, where I was just like, I was like, that was a rough round. Let's try yeah. to focus on the next round and just yep. everything else is a blur. Right. Uh, Zam is deceased next round. Um, maybe. It depends on how she plans this maneuver out. Yeah, I'm going to calculate here. Uh, what maneuver would be best? I, the long pause sounds like I was just taking a calculate action. I'm not actually a robot, I swear. <laughs> uh, no, calculating what... Uh, <laughs> what... Uh, the best option, if Zam does take the loose stabilizer, yep. what can that gain her? And the the best thing I think well, would be she has if the loose stabilizer, so she can't really. Well, she can't. She's just gonna take it damage. Yeah, she for. just takes it. Um, and my thoughts are, if Alan thinks that these Jedi's are going to overcommit through that lane between the two gas clouds in mm -hmm. the center of the board, uh, three bank boost could get you out of arc and on the run and and potentially uh, force these guys to have to overcommit back to you or turn and face Django instead. Yeah. Um, Alan Ty dropping two more third of detonators um, right in the path of where this arc 170 is probably going to be going. So I think the real the bigger question is if the warthog is Heading to the left that way as well, or if he's going to skirt around the gas cloud like the Jedi. I think, there's, I think there's a bump on the table or something. Mm -hmm. A wrinkle. He was having trouble getting yes, them to was. stick. That's okay, though. Um, that's exactly what a robot would say. <laughs> Don't you... Also dropping thermal detonators from Zam. Drop them while you can. Yeah, I mean, get your charges mm -hmm. off your ship. Um... 
That bomb dropper, ooh, just the two there. Saves one bomb as a threat. Okay. I like it. Okay, okay, I see it. Um, that one had the crate symbol on it. I'll ask him if you guys are interested. I know uh, a lot of the template makers and stuff were, or template makers and stuff. What are my words today? The people who make templates were uh, doing a lot of interesting things with uh, uh, the new templates for bomb dropping. So, hard to say. We got a two straight boost. One, one thing, I, I don't have much to comment on, uh, Lauren. Well, this might be a failed boost, so that ain't gonna work. Uh, other, other than that, that, what, I mean, you got no penalty, just the force, so whatever. But uh, my only comment is that uh, Lauren's not uh, taking um, as many target locks as I would. Mm -hmm. I would try to get a target lock. Um, I think she's been... Uh, or mu must have been in previous games uh, reliant on those Warthog rerolls. Yeah. We're here. Um, but we're otherwise, so been use it. Um, been doing a great job. Uh, this this bombs is going to be bad for the other. Yeah, it's not going to feel great. Um, but I think the my comment on that is that Warthog needs to get into this fight, though. Yes. Needs to be able to get into there and uh, start um, providing support. Yep. Well, the, la the lat's ability to give rerolls to everybody is super strong, and you pay for it for sure. Smikey's bringing up the the fire control system. Yeah, I mean, I I totally understand, but like, uh, may maybe that is uh, actually I I hadn't considered that at this moment. Uh, the the false transponder codes, um, because of the position Zam's in, mostly he's going to be wanting to take focuses for defense, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So not able to trigger those uh, false transponder yep. codes. So I can see that thought process as well. Yeah, yep. barrel roll gets her out of one at least. So we got one straight from Zam. Want to leave plenty of room before the board edge to turn left or right. Yep. And really, if you don't have to go in the corner, you don't want to. He slid the token away, so I assume he got rid of that crit. I mean, this has been a fantastic game for Lauren. Uh, as far as like focusing down on one of these fire sprays, but Django still out there. Yes, and Django can uh, do a lot just Alan, by himself. Alan always has a win condition as long as Django's on the board. Or honestly, I would, I would probably say as long as one of these fire sprays is on the board, he always has a win condition. Ooh, so the arc does end up taking three there. Yep. One. One, hey. Okay. Okay. I was <laughs> trying to get their attention to roll the one at a time. Because if you roll a crit on the first one, and then you a hit on the second, the second one. Yeah. yeah, that crit was whole breach, and then the second one. Yeah. Okay, well, these haven't mattered, but I might say something. Uh, Admiral Epsilon, it is Will Haywood and Chase Fair in the booth right now. Is that Joel? Oh, no. <laughs> I know when I, I was first doing commentating and playing games, everybody said I sounded like Nick. But I've never heard it. There you go. Give it a little wave. <laughs> um, Smikey's pointing out that it would have been good to call a crit on the last one. I don't know if he was in range to call a crit. He needs that force for defense, yeah. though, to be honest with you. Yep.
Art takes two. Cool. Half points. Half on the squad seven veteran. Making sure to say it's slow. Uh, the lock from uh, you, you Better Mean Business oh, last that's round. Right. Did you roll all of them? What does it say? <laughs> you had one hit. I don't know if you re rolled that one. That's okay. Unless you really want to crit. Okay. Thinking about using his force. Um, I'd do it. I mean, I could you, see using you, it because he's going to die anyways. With the strain? It's a death. Yep, he's double checking the damage. Ah, mentioning the warthog, calling him out on it. Yep. Nice, nice. So it would get the death. Uh, but warthog is going to sure would, would keep him on the board anyways. Yep. So just. Okay, so I think that did kill him. I must uh, have missed a damage. Still strained, so I think it's a little defense. Okay. Got, got him on. Five, six. Okay, so he was dead. He was dead. He did not need uh, to spend the force. They were they were double checking uh, that. Um, it was range two from Zam, Red Champion. Oh, sorry. Ooh, and the arc, the arc just blanks out there. Coming in. Duke of the Evade. Great. Make sure he gets one. That's two more onto Zam. Zam is down to two hole. Currently, pretty close points wise, but there are definitely more shots coming into Zam. Yeah, one more range that three here. That very uh, three bonds, no re rolls. Warthog still out of range. Hit crit, using the focus. Takes and crit. bated breath here on the crit. <laughs> a little crit dance there. A little crit dance to see if I regulator. Yep. Lauren here pointing out that uh, Zam has already engaged, so doesn't have to worry about any side effects from that right now. Zam card again now. We need to bring up the Zam card. I can only do it so many times. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's also Judd standing right there, so if he's not going to say anything, um, I'm not going to. Did, yes, he did originally fix uh, loose stabilizer for his action. Yep. That's why the crit is off to the side. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Judge got it. Yep. So he's going to go with the bonus attack here on Jedi Knight. Uh, this is the Jedi Knight with the Force. A little laser show here. Yep, so range two. Fancy laser tool there. No, uh, what's Warhog's ability? So range two, the ship is not removed during the engagement phase. That, that Jedi had force because it didn't boost a barrel. Uh, I think you spent it on offense. Yeah.
All right, just one easy. All right. I'll, <laughs> I'll <Sorry. laughs> no, no, no. You're good. No. <laughs> no, no, you guys, you guys are just fine. Like, yeah. Uh, I, I'm glad that you guys are high energy, having fun. That's all that matters. All right, they're, they're apologizing, but there's <laughs> nothing to apologize for. Yeah, they're, no, not at all. they're laughing, having fun still, so. We're still no, here playing deal. in person X Wing, enjoying ourselves. Yep. Yeah, let's read, uh, let's pull that back up again with my fancy yeah. new technology that I figured out how to do. Sup? Uh, Warthog. After you or a friendly non limited ship at range 0 to 2 are destroyed during the engagement phase. That's important because bombs do go off at the end of activation. As or um, a foresight trigger. Uh, yeah, bonus attack. See, it looks snapshot or foresight. Uh, hitting a rock yep. as well. Yep. Things Flying like that. Off the board. <laughs> uh, Lord's got the best dance moves over here. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Warhawks. And I think that so. Now, while I've been commentating on how uh, uh, Alan here getting a little bit of love from his squad mates, rooting him on, telling, uh, telling him there's, there's a mention that he was a newer player. This is uh, uh, one of his first uh, events, probably his first in person event. Well, he's as doing well. really well with it, too. Yeah, honestly, I mean, he's in top 10 currently. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of, I mean, I would be triggered after the double, triple, yeah. the, the second triple blank from yep. Sam. I would be triggered a little bit too. Might have been off my uh, uh, game. Yeah. So it, I can't blame him for that. No, I, I don't blame him at all either. Um, but that's, that's the camaraderie of also having the X-Wing community around you is coming in to yeah. give you a little pat on the back and say get back yeah, in no, you got Doing this. an excellent job. Uh, in my opinion, making this uh, double fire spray list thing. Do, but as you notice though, still doing what he needs to do. He yep. got the re -arcs, he got the bomb drops. Yep. Uh, executing the plan you need. Uh, Duke wing evades where he needs to. Mm -hmm. All right, so it gets the strain back on Warthog there. So, well, I've been not, not, uh, oh, she just mentioned it as well, that, so, while well, I would be like, oh, Warthog, get in there, I need, we need your re-rolls, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, I think Lauren's in a different mindset that, no, 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 no. I just don't want Warthog to die first. Yeah. Because I want my other ships to remain on the board utilizing Warthog's ability. Yeah. I can definitely see that mindset. Uh, wanted to get a lot of uh, use out of it. You're using more for the pilot ability than the chassis ability. Exactly. But then, it, but now that the arc's gone, you do need somebody to draw fire, yep. right? So you do need to get it to come in, start shooting. This actually might be range three uh, to Zam. We, yeah. we might see our, our first fire convergences here. And yeah, if, if Lauren can trade an arc for Zam, mm -hmm. way up, way up yes. in oh, this game. Definitely. That's what Zam's at 96. 44. I will make that trade any day. <laughs> yeah. I will. Yeah. That you know that sounds like a great deal to me. Uh, Django kind of going around the top there, preparing to come in behind the lat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We got a shot here. Two hits to the dead eye. I think she's got to be conservative here. We need this far up. Spends the yeah. focus to not yep. take any damage. I would agree. And knowing uh, that Blue has a pretty good shot coming in as well. Yeah, one health, the other Jedi can handle it. Yep. Did Zam not have any shots? Oh no, I'm sorry, she just shot. She just shot. That was her shot. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, there's the disabled power railer going off. Yep. Luckily, medium base, so even if she doesn't die, she's not going to die yet. Kick crit in the Zam. 
Tuku the Evade. Tuku the Evade. So it covers the blank. Spends the force here. Switches it to Evade. Does not die yet. Nice, nice. Remembering the card. So picking up a lock here. Takes a target lock on the pink Jedi Knight. Ooh, now, now it's for the range one. Oof, this is big. Wow! Ooh, that is. That's a dead zam. Oh, oof. Bam. Sam Gong. The big explosions over here coming in from Blue Jedi Knight. Yeah, well, it's just about uh, 30 minutes remaining on the clock here. Uh, Django has got a lot of work to do. Oh, might have a shot on Django. Pop, pop uh, I'm the fire <laughs> spray now. That's what uh, Warthog's saying. But now it's the game of turn around and do it all again against Django. Bated breath here. Oh, easy gas right, cloud. Two hits into Django, but Django getting one natural raid in the cloud for the second raid. Uh, Chris is talking about uh, ordering the mat from FrontlineGaming.org. Uh, they are uh, doing orders uh, for uh, this mat. It's been very popular. Excellent art by Wade Pouchet. Uh, always want uh, to credit the artist. Uh, they're simply not credited enough, no, to be honest not, with you. Never. They're never, <laughs> never. credited enough as they should be. As so, uh, so big shout out to him. He's got uh, multiple projects uh, since uh, leaving FFG. Um, so um, the best of luck with him and all of his endeavors. Obviously, uh, his art is still fantastic. We can't so. zoom in on the paint job of the Jedi. I don't think we can without messing up this very finely uh, oriented camera that's set up. Exactly I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it just for you, Grim Wolf. I'm gonna <laughs> see what it is. I'm gonna see it. He's gonna get it for you. Uh, let's see, it's in a really easy spot too, and it actually, as you'll see, has really cool accents in the, uh, the coloring here. Still attempting to uh, get in again. Oh, he might not be able to. Uh, he says no. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, Grimo, if I tried, but uh, there's a lot of buttons on this 4K camera. And <laughs> there was a button that said zoom. Uh, and then what? Uh, so I <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> so I didn't press it, it turns out. Um, but yeah, we'll ask him politely if uh, if we have time yeah. after the match. Mm -hmm. uh, Alan discussing uh, win theory here. I mean, he's honestly he's not that far from it. Like, what happens if I if I do this? See, Alan getting a couple more pats on the back from some squad mates here. So look. There's his win condition right there. Exactly. No, that is, you have an untouched Django who can come in and really throw down some dice. You just got to get there. Um, Are they 10 normally? Oh, well, it turns out we have the magic of technology. All right. I mean, that's, that's your win <laughs> condition now. Sure. Yep. A 57 point, one agility ship. Yep. Or doing a two-loop 
with blue. Are they shipping these mats? And pink, different directions. Uh, Chris was talking about um, them shipping for six ninety nine. Uh, wait, <laughs> am I picking up your bat? Or... I don't don't put that on me, please. I mean, I I will, but I don't want to make that a thing for everybody. I'm not gonna go pick up six mats. Yeah. I have to fly home, so yeah, like it's a lot of space. I only get two carry-ons. They're very intimate about it. I could drop it at a FedEx or something, though, if they won't ship it. But <laughs> twisted shout, Laura, <laughs> twisted shout. Uh, um, yeah, I thought they were emailing, or sorry, I thought they were answering emails. So if, if you're not sure if they'll mail it out, um, send an email. Hopefully you can get the information on it sooner than later. Woo, okay. After the boost hit crit. Uh, yeah, just Spending the focus to take yep. a single crit. Just conserve. Conserve what you can. I am not going to fold them. I guess I could... Yeah, I'd have to fold it to put it in my luggage. You don't want that. I think the Warthog only has one shield left. Because the only, yeah, one Jedi is full, one Jedi has one shield down, and the Warthog has two down. Oh, I put three shields on it when I reset the overlay. Ah, uh, gotcha. Because I was counting to ten, but yep. incorrectly. All right, trades one for one there. Not bad. Has Al invaded anything? Well, that's an excellent question, Mystic. Yeah, I mean, I could get like a poster tube at FedEx. Just, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, that's... I got, now I got to find a FedEx. I'd have to do it at the airport, and it's like five times as much as regular shipping. Just email them, Chris. <laughs> Just email them and see if they'll <laughs> actually mail it out to you. Uh, okay, I like that quick turnaround. Controls. Quick uh, sloops and then come back in real fast. Yep. <laughs> Brightness, I am saying no. <laughs> but I can be convinced. That's the problem. If you buy him a mat too, he might say yes. I don't need more mats. Oh my <laughs> god. I've literally given away mats. I got so many. Yep, sending the Jedi in. And see, here's, here's the nice thing as well. So, took... Uh, advantage of the blue maneuvers mm -hmm. to counteract any Jangos as yep. well. I mean, she cleared stress, but yeah. the situation was uh, a good spot for it. Django has to go fast. Do you... I don't think a boost fits, unfortunately. You'd have to bank boost? You could bank boost and shoot the Jedi, maybe. Would it keep Ark on the Warthog? Though? Yeah, you might be giving up your win condition. You have to boost, though. You can't sit yeah, in both. Still those. thinking about his action. No. Yeah, you you have, you have to boost. You can't sit in those. Two. Those. Uh, <laughs> you have to boost. You can't. You can't sit in those arcs, can you? That I can do. Do 
Do, 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 do. All right, tried to boost out of it, um, but he was unable to. That's not the way. <laughs> uh, Lauren trying to help out a little bit. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> where'd that hit? come from? <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. It's okay. So that was a that was a damage though. Let me not forget that. And I and I laughed her. Yeah, hits. these Jedi are just going to lay into it right now. It's four into Django. One damage card. Range one from blue as well. There it is. There we go. Yep. She's been checking it all game. Finally. It happened. <laughs> Spends uh, focus for three hits and a crit. One evade takes hit hit crits. And the crit is structural. Man, <laughs> harder it, and harder. When it here. rains it pours for Alan here. I feel I feel you yeah, oh because we haven't even done shooting yet. Range either. one from Warthog. No rerolls though. Spend for two. Won't kill him yet. Wow. Wow. Almost almost one rounded in there. Wow. <laughs> Alan having a lot of fun laughing. Yeah. Three, three range one shots. Both Jedi getting four hits. Uh, we finally have a game that didn't go to time. Huh? Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, well, I mean, uh, let's not count Django. Yeah. Let's not he count could Django. evade a lot of shots. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's due for some evades. Yeah. But I think both Jedi can do a sloop here and just be turned. Or Pink can do a one hard. What is a Yaslami? Laslamari? I don't know that word. I'm, I don't have my safe search turned on to Google it. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely, if, uh, if we can get it in, I, uh, I'm definitely going to invite her around just to see uh, her beautiful makeup and uh, decorative uh, Jedi um, earring she's got on. Oh, the creature that blocks forests. Is that what they're called? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, get him off your ship. Don't need those bombs anymore. Not where we're going. <laughs> He's dropping the uh, last thermal detonator just to see if the Jedi goes I mean, back. It's, it's, it's a 5K. Yep. Or f they have, what, 3 and 4? I think five? it's five K. Five K and two sloops. Oh, they have four and five K. Is that yes, right? Yes, yes. You yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right. Oh, you know what? We could do this because I, I fixed my fancy technology. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Four, five K. Oh. Yep. So, if, if the Jedi does do a, uh, four or five. Going with the one hard, we get bumps. It fits. Wow. Did it? Or did no, it I think it bumped. Oh, we just can't see the full. That's uh, how I was. <laughs> I leaned yeah. in real close, just to try to see how close it was. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just just the sloop. Yeah.
Uh, let's, uh, so I, did I actually, hey, what's up, PBR Panda? <laughs> Lauren, real sick of those thermal detonators after eating so many of them this game. Yeah. I think uh, every single one of the thermal detonators hit. Yep. So like, they like hit Alan, this game. To be fair, this game does not look great for Alan. Nice. Uh, but his flying strategy has been correct for the most part. Yep. Bait them into the rear arcs, get turned around, drop the, bombs, the bombs. Yeah. Run away for as, as fast as you can. Yes. Uh, but a little bit of uh, unlucky dice in the beginning. It made uh, it really hard to pull ahead ever. Yeah. Because uh, you, you could risk that quick. with 11 health, you could risk these fire sprays. Like yeah, exactly. your shields are not. You've used. seen time and time again how hard it can be to kill them. Right. Right. So. Yeah, you you could risk your shields to get in there to get a good bomb dropping position, a good um, exit lane, things like that. Uh, but it costs them too much. Yeah. I think he's debating on who to fire into here. I didn't see his action. I think though. he just did pink, right? Hmm? Don't you just shoot into pink? Pink's down a shield from a bomb earlier, I think. Or is he debating going to Warhog? Warhog is worth more points. You gotta roll the four dice, though. Uh, looks like he's going into pink. No, I was just thinking about it. Yeah, he did not. No, I was just comment. Oh, sorry, sorry, chat. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I'm so sorry, chat. Anybody on headphones, I really, really apologize. Uh, judge ruling it that they are still in activation because no shots have been fired. So yeah, nobody is attacked. It's it's fine. This is a, I mean. It's a casual game at this point. Two hits. One of eight. One shield going down on pink. Shield on pink. Um, Chris from Lancaster, that is for our color knowledge of yellow versus red for the two fire sprays. Some fire convergence here and fire convergence. That's gonna do it. It was. Yep. And I think he rolled one too many because of structural damage, but it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. before health. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer. Fallen and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.